Well, folks, you can see what I'm standing beside you palm lovers. I was just over on the uh, big island and I really couldn't resist myself. Wendy says, no, don't get one of these. They're very tricky to grow inside. So this is a coconut palm, a Latin name Cocos nucifera. Probably one of the most difficult palm species to grow inside. And uh, I'm thinking this is probably my fourth attempt at growing coconut palms. Um, I used to bring them back from the mid 80s to late 1980s uh, when I'd be on the island of Oahu uh, in Hawaii and I'd get them at Waikiki real cheap, uh, six bucks for a sprouted coconut <clears throat> and I'd bring them back in my carry-on bag and you know I'd grow them inside for a couple years they get to about this size and then they get tons of spider mites on them uh, and that's what makes them so difficult to grow inside. First of all uh, this palm likes about eight hours of sunlight a day it likes a constant temperature of 70 degrees Fahrenheit or more, and it likes high humidity. These are native to tropical areas uh, of the world, and uh, so not very, uh, not well suited for inside uh, growing conditions. So I'm going to try my best to make this one live. So bear with me. We'll keep you updated on it. I'm going to miss this one. I think maybe once in a while, put it in the shower and wash it down. The first sign of spider mites because they are very prone to spider mites. So this one here looks like this frond, uh, this immature frond is actually starting to split into pinnate, uh, pinnate uh, leaves here. Uh, this one right over here and uh, that one not. But the rest of them are, I mean they're really healthy. It's a healthy looking coconut palm. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transplant it <coughs> into a the same type of soil. It looks like in a Pro Mix HP or a Sunshine Mix 4. Um, it likes well draining soil. It likes uh, to be evenly moist, and uh, this one has a lot of perlite in it. So, And just bury it to the same depth that you see it in the original pot. This one has a root sticking out the bottom, so I think it's time to transplant it. And I'm going to put it in, just step it up a size. I'm going to put it on a southwest uh, window where it gets as much sun as it possibly can all day long. I can't provide probably eight hours of sunlight for it in the wintertime. Wendy said don't buy it. So I have to make this one live because she is. says you don't need one and they're really tricky no. to grow and she is right They are one of the most difficult palm trees to grow yeah. inside Where So it'll get spider mites. It, well, you know what we're gonna spray it. We're gonna spray this one So it's a nice looking palm. Well, it's beautiful. It is beautiful and it does remind us of the Central Pacific because the Central Pacific Maui is our favorite place to go and we do actually have kind of a Hawaiian theme growing on here in our garden and our B&B's so I'll grab the camera and I will show you exactly what this baby looks like. They're also heavy feeders, so you can feed them with the 20 20 20. Do you have any fertilizer? You don't have any? Do you have any 20 20 20 or Miracle Grow? I thought you had some. I, I used it. Okay, so there it is. It's out of the sprouted coconut there. It looks like it's in a two gallon pot. And you know, I picked it up at Home Depot, it was 29 bucks. Coconut palm, it gives you instructions. I know how to grow them, I just know how tricky they are. So you can see the uh, the frond splitting into pinnate here, you see, right there. It's gorgeous. It is a nice plant, so yeah. let's try to keep this one alive. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice little trunk on it. And with global warming and all that stuff, they say maybe in another hundred years we'll be growing these outside here, but mm -hmm. I'll be long gone. Anyway, I'll keep you updated, folks. Stay tuned on updates of coconut growing here in the North Pacific, not the Central Pacific.